I wanted to make a video showcasing the difference in uh, current draw between, you know, your standard uh, LED bulbs that you can get online versus the incandescent and halogen bulbs. And I also have an HID uh, for comparison. <clears throat> so I made a rig where I have a power supply that puts out 12 volts. I have it in volts right now, I'll show you, and it can draw up to uh, 10 amps. So everything should work. So here's the voltage on my power supply. So it's 12.44 volts. So that's great. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to amps. All right. So first, here we have uh, your T10 bulb LEDs. These are typically found in uh, your license plate lights, maybe interior lights. And you can get these bulbs, LED replacements on eBay. This is a little cheap bulb. I'm not a big fan of this. Uh, the cheaper bulbs typically have a, a more bluish hue compared to quality LEDs. This one has six um, and seven, so about 13, 14 uh, SMD LEDs on it. And then I also got this other one that I'm using right now. It has two uh, LEDs, but they provide a pure white light. I actually took the cover off because with the cover off, it's almost the same size and it'll fit perfectly uh, where my license plate lights were. So let's see uh, just a comparison of what the amperage draws like between uh, the incandescent and LED bulbs. So let me get this rigged up here. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, you can. So this is pulling up um, 0.36 volts. I mean, I'm sorry, 0.36 amps for the incandescent light. It's okay, brightness does the job. So these are probably the easiest uh, replacement LEDs you can get online. So here is a T10 replacement. This is the cheap LED you can get online. I have to reverse the polarity. All right, so as, as you guys can see, it's got that blue, bluish uh, hue to it. I'm not a fan of, but you know, some people, you guys may, you guys may like that. And as you can see in my uh, voltmeter, or amp meter, it's showing 0 0.06 amps. So that's that's amazing compared to uh, the standard incandescent bulb. It's drawing, you know, a small percentage of what that gets. So that just gives you a rough idea on uh, amperage draw. So here's the one I'm currently using. It has two. Um, it has two SMD uh, LEDs on it, but they're higher quality. They're brighter individually compared to the other one, and they're a pure white color, which I like. Whoa, see. So there you go, it's a pure white color, pretty bright. And my amp meter is reading 0 0.04 amps, 0 0.05, 0 0.04. Uh, so it's drawing a little less than the other one, uh, even though the other one has more uh, SMD LEDs, but these are more powerful and they give off a brighter light, uh, far brighter than the incandescent bulb for sure. So. This is almost a tenth of what the incandescent bulb pulls. So that's pretty, pretty amazing. So that just, you know, shows how efficient these uh, LED bulbs are. So the next one I have here, whoops, is a size 921 bulb. So these have the same base as the T10 but they're physically larger. 
Uh, in my particular vehicle, these are the reverse lights and also the bed light for my truck. So let's first see what the uh, incandescent bulb looks like. Well, it's pretty bright. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but this is drawing 1.34 amps. 1.34 amps, pretty bright. I feel the heat already generating from the uh, the bulb pretty hot. These get hot really fast. And I got this uh, also online. These are our newer SMD chip. These are 50, 5630 uh, SMD LEDs. These are pretty powerful. They're bright white. I love these. Um, better quality than the cheaper LEDs you get online. So let's see. And also it has 6, 12, 15 of these. Whoa. There it is. I don't know if the, maybe it's too bright for the camera, but it's a pretty solid white, pretty bright. Uh, let me get this out the way so you can see the amp meter. So that's pulling 0.2 amps. 0.2 amps. So it's uh, pretty good compared, I mean, brightness wise, you know, it's far brighter, pure white light, and you get less amperage draw. So my next test, let's just get this out the way. Uh, let me get the HID out the way, I'll, I'll do that last. So here I have your H8, standard H8 bulbs. These are typically found in fog light applications. Then I have H11, which is typically a low beam application, and then H9, which are a uh, high beam application. So as you guys can probably see, they these three look almost, I mean, they're the same family. They look identical. The H8, the fog light and the low beam bulb, the bases, the bases are pretty much identical. It's the same with the connector. But if you look closely, the coil, I don't know if it'll focus, there it is, the coil, the coil on both of these is smaller on the H8 bulb compared to the uh, H11. So I'm gonna move these aside, I'm gonna make a comparison compared to HID. So this is something you can also get online. It's a replacement meant for fog light applications, the H8. Uh, typically these aren't brighter, but if you want a different color, like it's really preference if you want that white or bluish white, you know, these will get the job done and they'll should draw less uh, amperage, less current. Uh, so first, let's try out the uh, the standard H8 fog light. I can get that there. Okay, so it's pretty bright. So this is drawing point two point seven six amps. Two point seven six amps, and move it out the way so you can see it. There it is. Two point seven seven. Two point seven six amps. Now let's plug in the uh, LED. This is uh, supposed to be 80 watt Cree LED. Um, I take it off because I don't like how it looks. Too had too much of a bluish, cheap hue to me. Oh. So it it looks brighter, but doesn't necessarily mean it's going to put out a higher lumen output. So this is pulling two. I'm sorry, 0 0.6, 0 0.59, 0 0.6 amps. You guys can see there, 0.59. Yeah, so it's definitely way more efficient, you know. And here it is again. So like like I said, some of you guys may, may like this kind of color. I personally don't. And it also comes with a little projector here at the top, which is supposed to project the light out but what ends up happening is it the light won't reflect correctly off the housing so you're just projecting the light forward and you're going to cause some kind of glare but it's for fog light applications so it shouldn't be too bad 
that would be the, out the way. So the next ones I'm going to uh, try out are going to be the uh, headlight bulbs. So here's the H11. Let me plug that in. Pretty bright, very hot. As soon as I turned it on, I can feel the heat in my, my fingers. That is drawing 4.23, 4.23 amps. Yeah, 4.22, 4.23. So that's for typical low beam bulb. Now the HE, H9, I actually didn't bring this up. The H9 is a high beam bulb, but what you can do as a popular mod is uh, you basically trim the base off because it has a the uh, base here extends out this way. You trim that piece off so it'll fit in your standard H11 uh, socket and you also trim a little plastic piece that's in there and they're identical. And because the light focus is the same, you'll, you'll get more lumen output and the correct projected light. So if you, ha especially if you have reflectors, this is a good way to, to uh, upgrade instead of going HID and blinding people. <clears throat> so let's give that a try. So considerably brighter, very hot, 4.94 amps. So it, it is uh, higher than the uh, H11, not by much, 4.9. Also what I forgot to mention, even though the amp draw is not that significant between the two, the light output is, uh, the H11 is rated I believe at 1200 lumens. 1200 something like that and then the h9 they're rated at uh over 2000 lumens so you get you know way more uh light output with the h9 compared to the h11 the the, the thing is they designed the h11 bulbs for long life not necessarily brightness whereas the high beam of course the h9 you know you get the most light output you can in a halogen bulb. Uh, the only thing you sacrifice is uh, bulb life. But even then, these should still last you at least if you use them every day, I'd say a year or two. You know, these will last you a couple of years, but you know, these are cheap. You can get these in the auto parts stores for almost the same price as the H11 bulb. You know, and I think, you know, the added safety of, uh, you know, on road uh, light output is, you know, just makes up for that difference. So let me put these aside. And what I, last thing I wanted to test since I don't have a LED headlight bulb is going to be a 35 watt HID. So this is also an H11. And this one is rated at three, it says 3.2 amps on here. So what I wanted to explain is, yes, HID bulbs are going to be more, um, they're going to be more efficient. They're going to draw less amperage compared to halogen bulbs. But when they start up, they have to warm up. And in that warm up a uh, couple seconds that they do, they will draw significantly more amperage current than your halogen bulbs. So depending on the car, some cars, you know, you may blow a fuse, um, you know, it, it, it really depends, you know, on the vehicle that you're putting these in. Uh, most, pe most people swear by always putting in a, a relay, you know, to completely avoid that. And that way you don't mess up your car's uh, electrical system uh, because of that initial warm up time. But, you know, every car is different. I won't get into that. You know, that's a completely different discussion that's been you know, beaten to death uh, all over the internet. You guys can look that up. So what I want to show you guys is uh, what kind of amperage draw we get on the HID. It's going to be extremely bright. Let's see if I can move this. I don't want to... Okay, that's pretty good, I guess. I just need to find a way where it won't... There you go. So 
So Ambridge draw, you know what? I want you guys to see it, so I'm gonna move the HID out from view. All right, oops. There it is, so six amps, whoa. What happened there? <laughs> oh, I see it, it's uh, the polarity's messed up, okay. No, that was right. And the amps aren't reading right. <laughs> the HID broke my uh, amp meter. Okay, there it is. 6.5 amps, 6 6.3, 6.2, 6, 5.8, 5.7, 5.4, 5.2, 5, 4.8, 4.7, 4.6, 4.4. See, as you guys can see, it's... It started off pretty high compared to uh, the halogen bulbs, but do you see now it's stabilizing? So 3.9. So now we're well below the uh, what the halogen bulbs uh, used, and you could probably see and it's just really bright. Um, the light coming off of it, it's a pure white, 5,000 K color okay so it looks like it stabilized at 3.77 yeah 3.7 3.76 3. Point, yeah it stabilized there so as you guys could see it definitely used up more than twice the amount of amperage when it starts up um and you know that initial current draw could potentially damage your electrical system and you know some of you guys may want to swap out a fuse and that's very dangerous you know that's you wouldn't want to just swap out a fuse and to fix you know an issue where you could just play it safe and get a relay um so these uh, these are the bulbs i had um i really hope this was informative for you uh thank you for viewing